The London Pictures is a very important group of pictures for us because we generally deal with the subjects, but with these pictures we deal especially and exactly with all of our subjects. Death, hope, life, fear, sex, money, race, religion, shitty, naked, human, world. All of those thoughts and feelings are in these pictures. But we started this picture six years ago because every day that we were going for a walk in the streets of London, we realized that we were seeing this amazing poster telling what was going on in London, like creating a kind of townscape with these images of selling newspapers. We like that the posters which we use in our pictures exist on many levels. First of all, they're there to sell newspapers. Secondly, every single poster represents a human disaster or event. Youth caught with gun in sock, it says. How many youths have been found with a gun in their sock? So it, it tells an amazing modern story, like a townscape of London, what is going on. And it's not based on what is not true, it is the, what is happening, the truth of London. And we try to create a kind of atmosphere behind the, the text that uh, for us looks like a kind of in the evening when the sun is going down and you see this dark city and we are becoming the ghosts and the spirit of London. And these pictures exist on more than two levels. First of all, they exist on the level of normal people who have never had a murder or a rape or a robbery or a suicide in their family. Then the pictures mean something more to families where they have had murder, rape, disaster, robbery in their families. So they will realize themselves differently to different people. And we are realizing very much that the world has not changed a lot. If you look back and go like 100, 200 years, the slogans of the newspaper were roughly the same. We have not been able to progress towards something more, what we call, inclusive, that we are able to accept ourselves more. So we want to say that we and the viewer have all been complicit. We have not been able to change the world enough. And these pictures maybe give us an idea of how our tomorrows could be different. And we know very well that in many places in the world, we are not able to, what you call, we are, we are not allowed to show this kind of, uh, what you call, posters because sexuality, like all kinds of different kinds of sexuality, is forbidden and a lot of women's problems are forbidden, religious problems are forbidden. So we are quite in a free society compared to many other countries. We say that there are Western pictures in the Western world. So we talk only of Europe, North America, Australasia, and some small pockets, Japan and other tiny parts. If not, the rest of the world is a nightmare of horror. That's why our two main messages are ban religion and, and decriminalize sex. Decriminalize sex and ban religion. But even so, when we did these images, we tried to keep them very, very neutral with very few, few colors. Like the text is black and white, but the main text that is in the picture is red. And, our, and if not, you only have the color of the skin of us and the black and white of the images. So the pictures more or less made themselves. And we're very simple. We just think that maybe people will be a little bit different <coughs> who see these pictures from the people who don't see them. And we, are, we did 292 pictures and we have, were able to put what you call like to project all these images all over the world. We started out in Hong Kong. We had a show in Hong Kong. We had three in London. We had one in Berlin, two in Berlin, one in Paris, three in New York, and now we have what, Naples, then we are going to do Athens, and then we are going to do Brussels, and uh, South Salzburg. Salzburg. So we are able to, because we don't like the idea of an artist doing one show for one place only, because we want the subject to go out in the world, to spread the world, not only this uh, exclusive gallery with two or three artists. <coughs> Very proud and very pleased with our pictures. Thank you. Thank you.